Tesla does not cease to impress us. Some of the recent viral videos show the Tesla Semi demonstratively smooth yet fast acceleration. And with European Union Commission's release of the plans aimed at promotion of sustainable and smart transportation options, Elon Musk's company has every reason to make sure that this beast of a vehicle hits the roads as soon as possible. In this video, let us have a look at how the Tesla Semi is going to take over the traditional logistics industry in the next decade. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. That way, when we post more content like this, you will get notified. Now, let's get back to our main topic. Unveiled back in 2017, the Tesla Semi is an all-electric Class 8 truck coming with two range options of 300 and 500 miles. The former will cost approximately $150,000 and the latter $180,000. It is a very serious threat to both traditional Class 8 trucks and forthcoming electric vehicles from Volvo, VRN Electric and Daimler, Brightliner e Cascadia. The original deadline for Tesla Semi customer delivery was 2019, yet as everyone can attest, something did go wrong. Earlier this year, Tesla stated that the first deliveries would only start in 2021, while it would be busy trying to improve the quality and lower the production costs of battery units to be used in the new vehicle. Nevertheless, even before a single commercial model had left the conveyor belt, Tesla Semi pre-orders soared to 2,000 units. The demand for the new vehicle has forced Tesla to reconsider the reservation deposit required for the pre-order. It has been increased from $5,000 to $20,000 for the base version and $200,000 for the limited Founders Series one. The biggest wave of pre-orders for the Tesla Semi came from the companies planning to electrify their vehicle fleets and looking for options that would enable them to abandon diesel-based vehicles. Those include UPS, PepsiCo, TCI Transportation, BIA, Cisco, Walmart, Anheuser-Busch, DHL, City Furniture and Meyer. In anticipation for the Tesla Semi final release, we have rounded up everything you need to know about the Tesla Semi the safest, most comfortable truck that Musk has claimed could be a game-changer for the trucking world. Judging from the spy photographs, the Tesla Semi would be quite a good fit, not only for the 21st, but also, potentially, for the 22nd century. It will feature a Japanese bullet train-inspired tall and imposing cab that bears a somewhat striking resemblance to helmets worn by Imperial Stormtroopers or Darth Vader himself, uh, from the Star Wars movies, of course. The truck flaunts a short and smooth nose, tall and curved windshield, and most of its body is covered with a smooth composite material. According to Musk, the overall aerodynamics of the truck earns it a drag coefficient of 0.36, which is less than 0.8 of the $2 million Bugatti Chiron. Since the Tesla Semi is an electric vehicle, please abandon all expectations of any hood-related experiences. The battery pack and all the necessary equipment will be installed beneath the cab with two electric motors mounted on the rear axles inboard the wheels, as per information provided by Mr. Musk himself. The Tesla Semi color options will include gleaming white and Tesla red with smoky black glass windows. The truck will also feature a grill-free front emblazoned with Tesla's iconic logo T and LED projector headlamps. The interior of the cabin is fitted with two Model 3 touchscreens that serve as workstations for scheduling, remote monitoring, data logging, navigation, routing, and blind spot monitoring. On top of this, the dashboard will get system controls, a gauge cluster, and camera displays. Unlike those of conventional semis, where the driver's seat is located on the left or right side of the cabin, the driver's seat in Tesla Semi will be positioned in the forward center, like that of a Formula One race car. The location of the driver's seat in the center puts the driver in a perfect position for maximum control and visibility around the front end of the semi. The 360-degree camera system and the short overhangs, by the way, will also facilitate this. The cab will be spacious enough for the driver to stand up and move around. However, it will not provide enough space for the driver to sleep or relax when exhausted. After all, the Tesla Semi is a day truck, so there is no need for a sleeper cab. 
Details regarding the battery capacity, horsepower and torque of the motors have not been given yet. However, Tesla says that the semi will be powered by Tesla's new 4680 cells alongside with four independent electric motors utilized in the Tesla Model 3 electric sedan. Each of the four rear wheels of the semi will be propelled by a Tesla Model 3 motor, which will give the truck greater efficiency and power. With four Model 3 motors, Tesla's new 4680 cells and a new battery pack design, the semi is expected to boost up to 300 horsepower and deliver 550 pound-feet of torque. Performance-wise, the boundless torque of the electric motors will allow a semi pulling an empty trailer to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds and in 20 seconds for a semi pulling a full load of about 80,000 pounds. Isn't it incredible, given that it takes a conventional semi about a minute to attain 60 miles per hour when hauling the same load? Likewise, a Tesla Semi pulling a fully loaded gross weight of 80,000 pounds will be capable of maintaining a maximum speed of 65 miles per hour on a 5% uphill grade, that is, roughly a 1-foot rise for every 20 feet of distance. For comparison, a diesel Class 8 truck would only manage 45 miles per hour on the same 5% uphill grade and load. Referring to the range of the Tesla Semi, Elon Musk initially stated that the Semi could be offered in two range options, 300 and 500 miles. However, he has recently added that the 500-mile version would actually get a boost of 600 miles on a fully charged battery. Unfortunately, no mention has been made as to whether the 300-mile version will get any improvements as well. Along with the Semi, Musk said that the company would collaborate with Semi customers like the Anheuser-Busch, UPS and PepsiCo to install a supercharger network comprised of the megachargers. A megacharger is a high-speed DC charging station capable of adding enough juice to a flat battery pack in less than 30 minutes, which translates into roughly 400 miles of range. Each mega charger is rated at 1 megawatt hour. Musk says that the mega chargers will be installed by semi customers along their operational routes and will be widespread at truck stops and urban environments. On highway chargers will come later. Additionally, the company is launching new version 3 superchargers rated at 250 kilowatt hours or a quarter the capacity of a mega charger. The Tesla Semi will be designed to support autonomous driving as soon as regulations permitting vehicles with more than 10,000 pounds of gross weight to drive in fully autonomous mode on highways are actually issued by the states. This means that the base truck will be equipped with standard features, including radar sensors, automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, obstacle recognition, regenerative braking, lane keeping assist, departure warning, forward collision warning, as well as cameras and processors to enable drivers to activate the autopilot mode at some future point. The Tesla Semi's low-slung battery pack will make the truck more crush-proof in an accident, and the Semi's windshield made of impact-resistant glass will potentially save a lot of lives as well. Tesla has not yet officially announced the price of the Semi, but we anticipate the price for the 300-mile range model to start at around $150,000 or £110,000 and $180,000 or £140,000 for the 500-mile range version. The truck is expected to hit the roads in 2021. According to Musk, the Semi's powertrain and the battery will be manufactured at Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, while other parts of the Semi will be made elsewhere, including the Texas Gigafactory, currently under construction. Tesla is not alone on the electric truck frontier, but other car makers, including General Motors, US Hybrid, Toyota, Kenworth, Pakar, Nikola Motors, Volkswagen, Volvo, China's BYD and Daimler, are developing electric heavy trucks of their own. Toyota and Nikola Motors are working on fuel cell electric trucks that use hydrogen fuel cells to generate power for their electric motors. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated Channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.